Jack, thanks very much for sparing us some time this afternoon. Delighted to see you here because it means you've signed on again for Woking for next season. Your thoughts? Um, I'm, I'm really excited. Um, as soon as the gaffer said that he wanted to um, keep me on next year, it was something I was open to straight away. Um, since he's come in, you know, I've, I've really enjoyed training. I've really enjoyed playing under him. I feel like I've I got a rhythm going uh, towards the end of the season, and I was a bit, a bit glad to see the season finish. To be honest. Uh huh. And uh, you're one of the first people he signed for next season. And uh, how did that come about? Did he ring you up out of the blue? Or? Uh, he, we had a meeting one day after training, and okay. he just said that he was, um, he was. He, he, he was looking to keep me on for next year and what would my opinions be on it and I, I, was, I said straight away yeah I'd be I'd be on board with that and we had a few discussions and straight away I knew that this is the place I wanted to be and carry on developing my game and help him work in uh, win, win more football matches sure and uh, has he talked to you about what sort of role he sees you playing um, I think we have that mutual understanding where I, I can play and a variety of, variety of positions. I think when I first came here to Woking, I was I was brought in as a as a number ten and playing higher up the field. But since the gaffer's come in, I feel I've I've dropped a bit deeper, and in doing so, I've been able to pick the ball up and play forward and also run forward. Um, and that's something that I feel like I've really enjoyed doing since the gaffer's been here. But I've also um, had to adapt my game and and show show what I can do out of position as well and I think I've surprised a few people in that I can do that. Um, when you first joined the club and started training and so on, we were, we were hearing all sorts of fantastic things from even from Martin Tyler about what a talented player you are. It, it took you quite a while to sort of break into the first team though, didn't it? Was there any particular reason for that? Um, Yes, so there was a, there was a few uh, personal reasons that happened um, outside of okay. outside of the club, um, and yeah, it was everything was a bit up in the air. But I feel like it it all kind of hit at once, and as I said, that I got into a rhythm towards the end of the season, and I was just a bit gutted that the season come to an end so yeah, um, yeah. so quickly. Was there, was getting properly match fit part of the conundrum? Um, I think there was a, a few concerns about that at the start, but once I hit fitness, uh, I feel like I was training well, and um, it just it just had to be. It it just it just didn't really happen at the start. Okay, okay. Well, it certainly happened by the end, and here you are again. So, so uh, it all went right in the in the end. Can I take you back in time a little bit? Um, you've played for Cyprus a few times for age group teams. Uh, and I believe that's because your mother's Cypriot, is that correct? Yeah, so I played, I represented Cyprus since I was 16 years old. I've been all the way through the age groups. I've um, had a call up to the first team before. And then unfortunately we went into lockdown. And since then I, I haven't uh, been back to the national team. Um, and that's another thing hopefully developing under the gaffer and getting into a rhythm again something that's something I can pick up next year right and have you played against anyone whose name will be familiar or with anyone what at Cyprus yeah um no I don't think they're no, okay. familiar no. not to worry not to worry I want to go f even further back in time now I want to take you back to school you went to a grammar school yeah did you actually go through with taking exams doing GCSEs and A levels yeah, I'd done my GCSEs, um, and then I'd done a scholarship at Spurs, so right. I'd done my my um, my A levels at Spurs. Oh right, what, what A levels did you do? Um, we done a, a a sports sports science course, I think. Right. Uh, so yeah, it's a sports science. Oh okay, okay. Uh, so oh, it's good to see that uh, you you kept up with your education as well as developing your football. Yeah. Because you you obviously have capabilities in those areas yeah yeah like I think it's always for anyone like young who's listening I think it's always important to keep your options open because um, you never know what's around the corner sure 
Um, let's finish off by talking about that goal, a goal against Eastley. Um, you, you caught that one well, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, um, I scored a few, few nice goals uh, over the years, and you know when I, when I've been training under the new gaffer, I've, I've really felt like a bit of freedom when I've been in and around the box to try things, be creative, take a risk. And you know, I just, I just thought it was, it was a great opportunity to have a shot, um, and happily for us and and me, it, it went in, and I, I couldn't have been happier at the time. Oh, well, it didn't show. I was going to say you need to work on your celebration a little bit. You sort of ran round in a curve and went back to the middle, and you got stopped on the way by a couple of people who congratulated you, but it it, it wasn't great for the photographer. Because um, you didn't leap about like a mad thing. Oh, uh, no, so I went I went to get the ball because uh, obviously he was losing 1-0. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I'm sure as the gaffer's going to implement next year, we want to be a winning side. And that half-time, we, we, we were talking about winning games and, you know, I just felt a game at home against Eastleigh, we should be pushing for all three points no matter if I'd scored or hadn't scored. I think we're a team who's going to want to win games and I'm a player who's always going to want to win. So I think celebrating when you're equalising at home is would have been a bit of a poor mentality. Right, yeah, I get that, I get that. I think that's remarkably mature. I think there are plenty of people who would have gone mad and leapt about and dived into the Kingfield Road end and all that sort <laughs> of stuff. And nobody would blame them for doing so. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll be waiting next season. Hopefully I can score a goal in front of the KRE and go and celebrate with them all. Absolutely, 100%. And I'll be there to get some decent pictures. Exactly. Thank you very much for your time. It's great to see you back here at Woking and we look forward to your contribution next season. Thank you very much.